Hello, I'm Andrew Downs, and this video is demonstrating a prototype that sends open badges and badge definitions via TinCan API. This first page serves two purposes. First, it acts a bit like a login screen where we collect some information about the learner. But secondly, in the background, it sends the LRS some information about some badges. Um, these are badges that are pre-designed as part of the prototype, but in real life, these could be statements sent from a tool that's used to design badges, used to create badges. So it could be any badge at all. So I'm going to refresh this page, and then we'll have a look in the Learning Record Store, Scorn Cloud, to see how that data looks. That refresh. Great, so we're going to Scorn Cloud. See, so we've got an empty LRS at the moment. We've just added these statements. And you'll see we've got a statement defining an open badge issuer somebody that issues an open badge. We're defining some criteria, and then we're actually creating two open badges and defining those open badges. So from here on in, everything that the, the prototype knows about the open badges is coming from this information. So let's log in, and I'll show you what I mean. So you see here, there's two possible badges to earn, and those two badges match up to these two statements in the learning record store. If we had a third statement about a third badge, that would be displayed here. The prototype is getting all the information it needs to know about the badges from the learning record store. Um, so what we've got on this page, we've got an opportunity to earn a badge. Now obviously in real life you have to do some kind of achievement to earn a badge, but in this case all we have to do to earn a particular badge is click a button. Uh, before we do that, I'm just going to explain the rest of the page. So we've got the award badges section. This will run a script that looks at the learner's experiences and looks at the criteria for the badge. And then if the learner's experience matches up to those criteria, it will award the badges. So I'm going to click that now. Again, give that a moment to load. It's all running on my local machine. And you can see now we've got a statement in this statement stream that default example name, that's our learner, has met a particular criteria and that the criteria was to experience the Tim Badges prototype main page. So we've got the statement here that we experienced the main page and then another statement that that actually met a particular criteria. So let's now earn one of the badges. I'm going to click to earn that. So now we've got a statement that we interact with the button, but we still haven't earned the badge. So we'll run the award badges script. Now in real life, this script might be set up as a scheduled task to run regularly to compare the learner's experiences with um, the criteria for the badges. Again, give that a moment to load. And we can see now we earned the badge. And the badge is displayed here, and the badge is displayed in our list of displayed badges. And both of these images here can be downloaded. They're open badge compliant badges. They can be uploaded to a badge pack, um, you know, completely conformant with, with open badges. And they're all, in generating these badges, they're pulling data from the Learning Record Store. And these badges aren't stored in the backpack they're stored in the Learning Record Store. So if I transmit this statement to another LRS, we can use that to display badges anywhere. Uh, if I click onto the, the badge, you can see there's a, a load of information inside this badge statement. And all of that information is used to populate these buttons here. Uh, we can see you can get the, the badge assertion. In fact, let's just open all of these up. So first, you can get the badge assertion, and this is the, the open badges metadata. Um, again, all of that data is stored in the Learning Record Store. In fact, you can see the statement ID there. So this information is stored in a TinCan statement, but it's being returned in an open badges format. And the same applies to all these other pieces of metadata. It's in an open badges format. It's the right format for open badges, but it's been pulled from TinCan data. So that's all we've got time for on the prototype. I um, hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching.